Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, as you see, I've got the uh, Lionel Diesel on the rail. Just pulling a couple of cars for now. I just hooked this up. I took the uh, Lionel 1033 transformer and I've installed a full wave bridge rectifier on it. So converting this to direct DC, direct current, of course. So I've just got this uh, mounted with a uh, mounting tab for now, just to keep it in place. So two wires from the transformer go to the input on the rectifier. The uh, two brown wires, of course, are magnetic lock-on, supplying pure DC to the rail. Well, as pure as you can get with a uh, full-wave bridge rectifier, anyway. As you see, this uh, Lionel diesel is running at a good constant slow speed. So very likely, if I'm going to be running on DC, this is how I'm going to use uh, do it. The... Uh, these modern DC uh, power supplies seem to work quite well, but when they're broken, they're history. There's no way to repair them. Anyway, I spent 23 bucks, whatever it was on that DC power supply. It lasted less than four months. So I'm definitely not going to buy another one. Anyway, just uh, by adding the uh, rectifier to this uh, standard AC transformer, we have exactly the same effect. We have DC going to the rail, and as you see, you can run these locomotives at a really, really slow speed, much slower than you run them on AC. As you see, this thing's just crawling around the rail. Good constant speed all the way around, but we have plenty of power available, of course. And of course, if you want to go back to AC, just uh, connect the uh, lock on directly to the transformer instead of going through the rectifier. So don't know how I'm gonna do this. I might actually uh, put a rectifier inside the case and just have a switch to uh, switch between AC and DC. We'll see. Anyway, just continuing the DC experiments. As you see, this thing runs absolutely splendidly on DC. Every locomotive that I've ever tested on DC runs better on DC than it does on AC. As far as speed control, low speed operation, smoothness of operation, they're much, much quieter running on DC, much smoother. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick video. This thing works actually quite well. The rectifier is fairly efficient, converts AC to DC, and it gives you real control over the speed of these locomotives, as you can see. And you just cannot run them this slow on AC. You just can't. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. So the uh, uh, rectifier itself is three bucks. So like I said, I might mount it inside the case. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Uh, it works, that's the important thing. I had actually thought of just making a lock-on with two diodes mounted on it. Or uh, get a small full-wave bridge rectifier for the uh, magnetic lock-on and actually mount it on the lock-on. So you could have a uh, DC lock-on or a standard AC lock-on. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. This works. There's no doubt about it. It's cheap. It's simple. Two wires to connect it. Two from the transformer to the rectifier. Two from the rectifier to the track. And as you see, you cannot run these things this slow on AC. You simply cannot. This thing will just crawl around this rail. As you see. You know, AC just, uh, it'll run slow, but when it gets to a curve on AC, it usually just stops. Whereas DC just powers right around the corners or right around the curves with no problems at all. And you can really, really slow these things down, even on curves, as you see. Anyway, so just a, uh, another experiment. So a, a full wave bridge rectifier, temporarily connected directly to the AC transformer. And it works. It works actually really well. So just a quick video. As long as you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.